Okay, another morning mindset and mindset matters. And today we're going to talk about when do you dream? And this was really prompted um, last week by a friend who made a comment to me that really stuck out to me. And I think a lot of times it's easy for us just to kind of like throw our words around, right? Like maybe what I'm saying is true. Maybe it's not true. Maybe, you know, if, if there's weight in it, like sticks, right? Like, but we don't realize that our words matter. And yesterday I was at like a, or last week, excuse me, I was at this like heightened um, awareness of words because Travis and I had just recorded a podcast called Your Words Matter. And so I think I was already kind of in that zone, but we're talking and at some level, she just quickly says, when all else fails, pray. And I was like, what did she say? Like, it just sat really weird with me, right? When all else fails, pray. And so it just got me thinking about current circumstances, right? Like I think as individuals and as humans, it's really easy to start to think that we're going crazy individually right now, but the world is crazy. And we're forgetting that everybody all at the same time across the entire globe is facing things that we've never faced. It's not like one country. It's not like one community. It's not like one family. We are, we are all experiencing things at an insane pace in the most uncharted territory that we've ever been in. And so it's really easy to start to kind of think like, oh my gosh, something's wrong with me. Something's wrong with me. What do, what do I do? When do I pray? How do I pray? What do I dream? When do I dream? Like, what do I, what do I do right now? Right? So I wanted to do a video because I think that it is really important to understand timing and it is really important to understand your role in timing. Okay. So again, the biggest obstacle that I have in talking about dreaming and this whole concept of dreaming is what we think dreaming is, right? Like one of my favorite quotes says, what we think we know that really isn't so is what hurts us, okay? What you think you know that really isn't so is what hurts us. That's where a lot of times our stress and anxiety and fear and doubt and worry comes from is because I'm thinking about what could happen. I'm playing out a circumstance in my mind. I'm playing out a conversation in my mind before it's even happened, okay? It's, so it's we really have to understand what dreaming is in order to understand what I'm talking about today. So based upon my definition of dreaming and the years that I have been studying this topic and this conversation and working with, hundreds of people about opening themselves up and living from the inside out. My definition of dreaming is the ability to have great and intense focus in a different realm that brings about possibilities with the consideration of those around us. That's what dreaming is. It's the ability to go so deep within yourself, to have such focus on what's going on in here, not out there, that I'm about to actually bring about possibilities, things that aren't around me, things that are within me, with the consideration of those around me. That's what dreaming is, okay? And so when we come to a place that we are at these why in the roads and we don't know what next week holds, we don't know what tomorrow holds, we don't know what next year holds, right? Like you've lost your job, um, your marriage is on the rocks, um, you're frustrated with the school system right now and am I putting my kids in school? Am I not putting kids in school? What do I do with my schedule? How do I grow my business? How How do I even just maintain life right now? How do I even just stay healthy right now, right? Like there's a lot that's going on at basic survival needs, basic survival, right? Am I safe? Am I secure? Am I stable? That's bottom of Maslow's hierarchy needs, right? Those needs are important. We can't live without them, right? If I don't have my safety, security, survival needs met, then I can't thrive in this life. But what happens is we start getting so focused on that that we only survive in this life. We don't thrive in this life, okay? Then what that gets people thinking is, well, how in the world am I supposed to thrive right now? Like, have you looked around? Have you noticed what's going on? And really, I feel like there's two different types of people right now. There's either people that are thriving, right? And that are doing really well and that are mentally, emotionally, financially crushing it. And then there's those that are not. It's the complete opposite. And we're in fear and worry and doubt and hesitation and reservation. We've lost jobs and we've had to shift and we're continuing to shift, right? And more important for any of these two groups, it doesn't matter which one you're falling in right now, it is a mindset that is going to help us thrive right now. A mindset, okay? Because I've even seen people that are so busy that are not thriving, okay? I've seen people who are making tons of money that are not thriving. 
And so I really want to encourage us today that what I'm going to share is, again, Mindset Matters. It's a mindset principle that is designed to support you on the whens of dreaming, okay? When do you pray? Do you think that God sits up there and has always wanted us to be figuring things out on our own, willpowering our way through life, striving, aiming, grinding, right? Like, do you really think that that is the purpose of the creator is for us to burn ourselves out? And then when all else fails, when I've tried option A, when I've tried option B, when I've tried option C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, do you really think that the one who created the most beautiful panoramic views and the, the trees and the vegetation, do you think that we're designed to burn out and then pray, right? It's almost like being a parent. If you ever watch your kid at the park and they're trying and they're trying and they're trying, you're like, let me help you. No, I got it. Let me help you. No, I got it. Let me help you. No, I got it, right? To the point of almost burnout and they either don't want to do it or they're crying and throwing a fit or then they're in resistance or then whatever it is. And all you wanted to do as a parent is go, let me help you. This You're not designed as a three-year-old to do this by yourself, Yes, you're able. Yes, you're capable. But as your parent, let me help you climb up that ladder so you can go down the slide and enjoy the rest of the playground. Let me help you get on the swing so then you can actually swing. Let me help you and make this a little bit easier for you to do so that you can sustain the joy and the fun. Like, Don't you think that our God and the creator is very similar to the desire that we have as a parent? let that lay for a second, right? So when all else fails, pray. I think we might have this a little bit backwards. How about first things first, right? Like from the minute I get up to the minute I go to bed, from the minute I start to the minute I finish, right? Like what if we were so much more conscious of a God and a process that it's not just about at the end of my day, after I've grinded everything out, after I've exhausted myself and all of my options, I've done everything in my own willpower. What if we didn't run our days that way only to stumble into bed, exhausted and going, well, when all else fails, I guess now pray. Like who wants to pray to a God that you're like, well, if everything else fails around me, then, then I'm going to pray. This is exactly what I mean about dreaming. It's almost like we're exhausting everything else. When all else fails, then I'll dream. Okay. How about first things first, even though I'm in survival, even though I've lost my job, even though my marriage is on the rocks, even though I'm disconnected from my kids, even though my body is not responding in a way that I want it to. It's not vibrant and healthy. Even though all of these things are happening, what if first things first, I taught myself how to dream. We teach ourselves how to survive. We teach ourselves how to um, focus on anxiety and worry. We teach ourselves how to fear the unknown. You have taught yourself that. Sorry, you me. We teach ourselves how to do this. You guys, we teach ourselves how to just do what everybody has done. We teach ourselves how to do this. And so it's the same idea that if we could teach ourselves that in any moment of any day, in any given circumstance, with any presented obstacle or opportunity, that is the time that we need to be dreaming. Because if I go back to the definition of dreaming, great and intense focus with deep absorption of thought in a different realm that brings about possibilities, that means I don't need anyone or anything else to give me that which only I can give myself. And so instead of comparing, instead of worrying, instead of fearing, instead of just being reactive, that means that if I take a time, first things first, to go inside, to get really clear with what I want in here, then I can start manifesting it in the world around me. Then I can start bringing it up out of, about. Then I can start making the phone calls, doing the things, getting about my day, going through not just the motions, but going through the steps that I'm going to need to take in order to take what I saw on the inside of me and bring it out in the world around me. 
Then as I lay my head down on the pillow, knowing that I started with my intention in a place of alignment, that what's most important to me is what I'm going after today, not in fear, not in worry, not in scarcity, not in doubt, but in what's most important to me is what I'm going after today. And I let my steps from A to Z be in alignment and in check with that North star. Then by the time I put my head down, then the reality is when all else has failed, I'm still going to go back to my first things first. When all else fails, I'm still going to go back to first things first. That means when I wake up and I feel defeated, when I've lost my job, when my marriage is on the rocks, when, 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 I'm still going to dream. I'm still going to have such great and intense focus, not on my Instagram feed, not on the YouTube feed, not on the news, not on what's going on around me. I'm going to have great and intense focus with what's going on in the inside of me because there's something that God put in here that I need to create out there, which means first things first, I'm going to teach myself how to dream. First things first, I'm going to teach myself how to pray. First things first, I'm going to build back the relationship that I have with me to go, I have my back. I trust me. I have faith in me because even when I fail and even when people do me wrong and even when circumstances don't happen the way that I think they should happen, I trust me and I trust the God in me. That's first things first. Then as I go about my day, I'm making sure that every step I take, every decision I make is in alignment with that dream, alignment with that prayer. So that when I get to the end of my day and all else has failed and all else has just seems like it's not going the way I want that I can go, you know what? I started in alignment. I made decisions in alignment. All I can do now is as I lay my head down is to continue to dream, to continue to manifest, to continue to pray. And then I'm going to get up and I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to get up and I'm going to do it again. And that we don't get so addicted to just the finish line that we're not so addicted to success, that we're not so addicted to getting there, that we don't embrace the journey, that we don't realize that the journey and the everyday commitment to our dreams and the everyday commitment to our prayers is making us a better version of who we are. It's making us sustainable in our lifetime. It's making us stronger. It's making us better. That's what we want. We don't want to just be addicted to being there We want to enjoy the journey so we sustain it when we get there. So when do you dream? Right now. When do you pray? Right now. In the midst of the crazy, in the midst of the chaos, first things, midday, end of the day, in every moment, what am I dreaming? Ask yourself. I don't know, Julie. I don't know what I'm dreaming. My reality is too scary. My reality is just... Oh, it's like a heavy, my reality tells me I can't have this. My reality, blah, 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 blah. I get what your reality says. That wasn't my question. My question was, what are you dreaming? Regardless of your reality, what are you dreaming? In the morning, in the noonday, at night, as you rise in the next day, what are you dreaming? What is so deep on the inside of you? What problems do you want to solve? What love do you want to bring? What contribution do you see? All of it. What type of family do you want? What type of marriage do you want? What kind of relationship with your kids do you want? What, what do you see for your career? Don't give me the head of ego stuff. Give me the stuff that you feel here. And then line out your days to be in alignment with that. So when do you dream now? When you lose your job, dream. When you don't feel healthy, dream. When you feel like you've been let down, when you feel worry and fear and doubt, when you don't know what to do next in any area of your life, when a kid goes to college, when your kid is stuck at home because school is shutting down, dream. What do you imagine? What's most important to you in this moment? I know that sometimes you go, well, what's the most most important is I need to pay my bills. I get that. But you have two kids that are at home with you wanting to learn, needing to learn. So based upon your reality, What do you want most? What do I want most? I want my kids to be loving. I want my kids to be focused. I want my kids to do the things that bring them joy. Great. Then set their school schedule accordingly, right? You've lost your job and you're like, I'm, I'm nervous about tomorrow. I don't know where to go from here. Okay, great. What do you do next based upon what you want most? Well, I want to be in a community. I want to be a part of a company that's doing cool things. I want to be a part of a company that's serving the community. I want to be a part of a company that's doing innovative projects. I know of a thousand there's a thousand out there right now that are raising their hands and doing things that are, that are pushing society forward. Go find them. And with reckless abandonment, pursue that. 
When do you dream? First things first. When all else fails. And everywhere in between. This is your life. You get to imagine it. You get to bring about from in here to the world out there. Just like prayer. When do you pray? First things first. And when all else fails and everywhere in between. Which means when do you dream? First things first. When all else fails and everywhere in between. Dream on today.